Hello mates, I am Karan Sadhav here. In this session, I will teach you Spring Boot application in that functionality as sign up and sign in. Then technology we are using here back end at Java, Java 17, Spring Boot, data JPA, Spring Boot for controller layer to create the REST API, data JPA for persistence layer, database we are using here Postgres SQL, and API testing we are using here Postman API and Swagger UI. Now we we'll jump on our practical session here. Simply come up with the Chrome browser, type Spring Initializer, this is the office web page. Then project, we are choosing here Maven, language at Java, Spring Boot version, I am choosing here 3.3.6. Project meta type means information about our project. Group, it means our package name, I am giving package name as stack. And artifact, it means application name, Spring Boot, sign up, sign in, example. Now, refactor the base package. Packaging Ajar, Java version 17, adding dependencies, dev tool for live load, Lumbok for reduce the boiler plate code, Spring Babe itself available in built Tomcat server, and it will help us to create the REST API as well. Next, we require the here data JPA dependency for persistence layer, and the next, we are using here Postgres SQL dependency. Now, simply click on generate. See, within minute, production ready, application will be available there. Now, We'll copy our application and paste in particular folder. Now simply right click on application, goes, goes ahead with the extract. Once extraction is done, then copy the path of our application. Now we'll come up with the IntelliJ idea. Then coming to file, new project from issue sources, we'll get the path of our application. This is Spring Boot, sign up, sign in. Now simply click on OK. Then this is Maven project, then trust project with new window. I want to open in another window. Now we'll come up with the Maven, then Maven setting or you can available there, goes to Maven setting and we'll, we'll enable here our dev tool. For that perspective, click on build a project automatically. Then apply and OK. Now we'll come up with the pom.xml file, the Spring Boot version version here 3.3.6, the compatible Swagger UI dependency I'm adding here. And the same dependency you will get from our GitHub itself. GitHub URL I will add in description box. Now once it added, the next is coming to SRC main resources. In that we are going to create the ML file. Then simply right click new file and the file name itself I am giving application.ml. Now ML file content will add here. And the database name we are giving here HRM itself. Now simply go to Maven, then do build clean space install. Then meanwhile, we'll create a database in our Postgres. For that for that perspective, we'll come up with info PJ admin. Then simply come up with the Postgres SQL 17 here. I'm using then click on database, right click on that, create database. And the database name I'm giving here HRM. Now database is created successfully here. You can simply come up with the schema. In schema, there will be available tables, but table is not created here, right? Yeah. For data JP, internally taking care of creating the table as well. Because they are using Hibernate, it is an internal implementation tool, or M tool, you can simply consider. Yeah. Now come, come up with the IntelliJ. Our build is success. Once build is success, then simply reload the our application. Yeah. Now We'll start with the skeleton of our application. Simply come to the SRC main Java. Right click on com.fullstack. New package. The package name I'm giving here. Model package. Then simply right click on again. Base package. New package we are creating as a repository package. Then again right click on com.fullstack. New package. The package name we are creating a service package. Next package we are creating new package. Package name as controller package then model package we are creating new pojo class this is class name as employee then coming to repository we are creating new java interface interface name we are giving employee repository in service we are creating new java interface interface name we are giving a employee service and within service, we are creating the new implementation class, class name as employee service IMPL. 
then controller we are creating new java class this will be employee controller so now we will start with the development of our application then coming to employee.java annotate put add rate data itself available add rate get a setter and to string this is coming from lumbo which will help us to do this boilerplate code we are using other constructor for parameter as constructor nor constructor for default constructor add rate entity it means entity class and add rate table and we are going to mention the table name itself employee now we are using other type it means this is primary key at the rate generated value means this will be at to increment and strategy we are giving here identity then private means this will be emp id and emp id to be primary key private string this will be emp name we are adding here next private you can simply say double emp have salary not adding here more fields in your case you can add address gender then other card pan card here i am adding private string emp how email id private we are giving string emp how password the two fields is mandatory here for sign in perspective yeah email and password now come up with the i employee service sorry repository layer and in repo here we are using annotation at rate repository this is optional annotation now you can simply use extends jp repo and here we are passing pojo class as employee and the wrapper class itself integer and here we are going to write custom method as well custom method data jp have inbuilt methods but here we require the custom methods and yes data jp allows us to create the custom method this is very like powerful feature available here then custom method i am writing here for sign in perspective employee you can simply say find by emp email id and emp password the two input parameter we are passing emp have email id and the one more parameter string emp have password this is the abstract method we are creating here now coming to i employee service this is our interface interface by default methods are public then first method we are going to write here this will be employee and you can simply say method itself sign up we are passing here employee as an entity next method we are writing boolean this will be sign in we are passing two input parameter string emp how email id and one more is string emp how password i can end it with semicolon this will be interface then you can make the interface itself yeah perfect see here interface which has declared the methods now coming to implementation class then here this is service layer that's why we are working with that rate service and this is mandatory annotation here then simply use implements i employee service now there is compilation problem because whatever abstract methods in employee service in interface you must not implement into our implementation class then click on implement methods see both the methods implemented sign up and sign in implementation it means open curly brace available there declaration it means ending with semicolon now we are using at rate auto wide it means we are not creating the object by using new keyword we are just using at rate auto wide bring it will take care of creating the object internally then private we are passing here this is employee a repository and you know right service is intermediate between our repo and controller now we are copying this employee repo and simply call here jp inbuilt method available there save and we are passing into the employee and here we are writing the logic creating the logic for sign in perspective written type it will be boolean i am adding here boolean type of flag by default value we are giving false then here we are writing employee employee equal to you can simply say employee repo dot find by email and password if record available there then definitely definitely it will fetch and we are just adding here condition employee not equal to null and employee dot get email id dot equal email id again and condition we are adding here employee dot get password if it perfect match then we are setting the flag as true
here you can simply mark tag as a true and then instead of returning false please return here tag itself control a alt control l it will format the code base as well now coming to employee controller annotate with add rate rest controller next we are using add rate request mapping here we are giving base URI as employees then here if you want to use logger then simply use slf 4 j as well and here again we are calling add rate auto by annotation we are mentioning private this will be i employee service employee service then here first we pay our writing for sign up then set to say public this will be response entity we are trying to fetch data for employee once data is inserted, inserted into database method i am also giving here sign up we required here request body annotation and we'll pass here entity for this employee itself now this is written response entity dot ok employee service dot sign up passing the employee as a input here and if you want to return here log right in <coughs> console then you can simply say log dot info and here i'm passing employee dot get name whatever employee are trying to sign up we are trying to show in our console for that perspective i'm using at the rate and here i'm going to say trying to sign up for employee it will print such a format message trying to sign up for employee and whatever name available there coming to next and this is the last api we are writing here get mapping this is for sign in then we are passing here two input parameter emp have email id and the one more is emp have password yeah. syntactically uh, we need to use here this is close parenthesis and this will be public response entity we are passing the response entity type itself boolean and this is the same method as a sign in we are passing here two input parameter that's why we require here two pass variable it will be string type of emp email id and the one more again path variable this will be string type of emp have password then to simply to return this will be response entity dot ok employee service dot sign in this is the email this is the password ending with semicolon this way we done with the our coding now we'll simply go ahead and start our application then simply right click and start the application then application goes to work on port number 8080 then we'll come up with the swagger ui testing then simply call here swagger so localhost 8080 localhost colon 8080 forward slash swagger hyphen ui dot html hit enter okay simply refresh it yeah swagger is working here and our option also working on port number is 8080 itself perfect then we'll start with the api testing simply click on sign up here try to write out name i am giving here swara and employee salary i am giving here 97000.96 and email id we are passing here swara at the rate full stack dot com i will pass correct url here full stack java developer dot in i am giving this is the email id then here password swara at the rate we are giving here other simply give the password name itself that also fine now simply execute it will insert it into database one more record i am adding here this will be for lakshmi and here we'll add the email and password as well lakshmi salary i am adding here 99000.96 execute see that i inserted successfully and same if you want to do sign up in postman api then you can simply copy this url and connect with the postman api this is where it's letting here post and here simply pass our api and we require the json payload json payload also you can simply add it from swagger itself otherwise you can create it manually yeah. now here i am adding the record name i am giving here kiran and here we are giving salary as 9 to 2000 then change here those email password at the same request data inserted successfully 
now we'll come up with the sign in perspective then here click on plus simply use the gate we are passing here local host colon accurate zero this will be you can say employees sign in i am passing here incorrect credentials we are expecting false message but now i am passing correct message this data will get it from database as well simply right click on table so refresh and goes to employee table and then view all the rows it will fetch data there i hope there is some of the records yeah we'll pass the election card record here for that perspective we are just going to paste this data it's appending double quotes actually yeah now simply pass here election so it will fetch as true it means this record match with database and sign in successfully same if you want to test it from swagger ui simply click on sign in then try it out simply pass here lakshmi address full stack java developer dot in and password also we are passing here lakshmi we are expecting true see but if you are passing here incorrect right i am giving one two three it will fetch here false if you are passing current credentials whatever available in database right then and then it will return here true see now this is correct credentials that's why it return true here yeah such a way we done with the session for spring boot application sign up and sign in then if you are facing any difficulties with the session if you are facing any challenges feel free to add your questions concerns in comment box i will be available here to happy to help you yeah thanks for watching this video please do like share comments and subscribe this channel to get more updates and see you in next video